Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, I think I got a good word for us today. Uh, I've got some stuff from Jonathan Kahn, Book of Mysteries, and also from Psalm 1. At one point I had Psalm 1 memorized, I think, in the NIV. So the teacher, he's just like, uh, what's the key to being fruitful for God? What causes some to be great, right? And uh, so the teacher gets up from the rock where he's sitting. He walks down to the small plant that was growing just a few yards away. Grabbing the bottom of its stem, he slowly and carefully pulled it out of the soil. And it's kind of harsh for the plant. But then he said this, this is the secret, the part of the plant you don't see. The hidden part, look at it, you don't see it, yet it's the most important part most important part. When you look at a tree, you never see the entire tree. You don't. You don't see the, the, the roots down below. You only see what grows above and, you, and we focus on the fruit or the leaves, the beautiful colors in the leaves, the trunk, all of that. But the most important part is unseen, growing downward into the earth. Why? Because that's where the tree gets its water. It gets its minerals. It gets its, it gets its nourishment. Without the roots, the tree ceases to exist. If the roots are shallow, or weak, or damaged, the tree and its fruit will wither away. I love Psalm 1. It says this. It talks about the, um, well, I'll just read the, the first three verses. Oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand around with sinners, or join in with mockers. That used to be me. I used to be a mocker when I was a teenager. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. So we need to have this hidden life. Okay, It's the part of us that nobody sees. No one knows what you're thinking. No one knows exactly what you're feeling. Now, sometimes you can read people like a book, but we have the privacy of our own hearts and minds. But I love this. It, and it's not just knowing God's Word. It's meditating on it. See, we all meditate on something. Meditate just means you just keep going over and over and over different things. What are you thinking about? That's meditation. And it says this, they are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaf, they, they never wither, and they prosper in all they do. Why? Because they've got their roots deep down into the, grow, into the ground, and they're near a river. Man, if you take a look at population density maps, like in, in Egypt, everybody lives near the Nile, because water is life. And for plant life, if you put your roots down, uh, it's going to cause things to grow up. And it's something that, that I think a lot of us, we, we often don't think about. I also like what it says in Colossians chapter 2. In Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 and 7, it says this, And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow Him. Let your roots grow down into Him, and let your lives be built on Him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth, you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. You know, just the other day, I was just thinking, I haven't been giving thanks enough. It's, it's, it's probably not the natural thing for most of us as human beings to do. If you get too focused on problems, but give thanks and let your roots go deep into Jesus. So the teacher goes on to say, your inner life with God, these are your roots, okay? Your faith, your devotion, your love, communion, your time with God in prayer. That which is in your heart. No one can see it, but it's the most critical part. The part by which you receive spiritual life and nourishment. It is this which causes the rest of your life to grow and bear fruit. If your roots are shallow or weak, the fruit in your life will be the same. And the amazing thing is that Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, he talked about fasting, he talked about prayer, he talked about giving to other people. But he said something that's very, very interesting. He says, Nobody else sees it, but your father who sees in secret, sees it. And that's what really matters. So just want to encourage you to put your roots deep into Jesus. Are you frustrated with, with things in life, your relationship with God? Go deeper with God. Spend more time with him. Put the re roots down and you will grow up and there will be fruit to his glory. God bless you. Have a great week.